What's up everybody, what's going on? It's your boy here, Ryan, Ryan Beats. Uh, well, took the week off, and the weekend. But anyways, today is uh, another print job. We're doing a one color hit. Um, it's gonna be on these track jersey type of uniform. This is 100% um, polyester. Uh, let's see, we have some small, some medium, and some youth sizes. And we're going to be using the Fusion 180 ink, uh, opaque white, their white ink. Um, I just like using them. I just like using that on the polyester. It just ease of mind that I know it's gonna work. You know what I mean? All right. Whew. Look, the garage is such a mess. I uh, just put a lot of stuff. Um, let's see what that is? Hot Wheels. Yeah, I'm. I'm also been selling a lot of Hot Wheels online lately. And that's keeping me busy. Oh, all right, so let's go ahead and sort this out. Finish sorting it. Um, I have to put my youth palette on there, which is this one right here. Anyways, yeah, let's go ahead and get set up and start printing. I think he's coming by within the next couple of hours to uh, pick up the jerseys. I just want to make sure it's all ready for him. I still gotta do my test print. Um, yeah, yeah. Let's get to it, guys. Uh, all right, well that took a while. I went ahead and put all the youth palettes here, uh, re-marked them as far as the center mark and the, the lines here which kind of went overboard. As you guys can see, I, I don't know why I did so many, just got really stupid. And I put the, uh, the PMI palette tape on here, I took the old um, uh, palette uh, tape off and I put the dual tack palette tape. So we are ready to go. I already turned on the uh, heating elements there. What I did is I ended up lowering the uh, temperature down so it will accommodate the, um, the Fusion 180 and the polyester polyester um, jerseys here. All right, so I'm just waiting for this thing to heat up a little bit. We gotta go ahead and stir it, get the ink going, and um, start pressing. Uh, it's a little bit thicker than your average ink, I guess. So make sure you, I like to uh, stir, oh, wait a I like to stir it up a little bit um, while the conveyor is heating up and then uh, right before I put it on the screen I like to stir it just a little bit more all right let's go ahead and do our test print I'm using the same material I think one pass should be good, but um, let's just see how it looks. All right, let's see this one. So that's one hit. Let's go ahead and let's check the other hit. All right, let's go ahead and uh, put in the conveyor dryer. Make sure that um, our our temp is good. Alright guys, so this is how it looks. This is actually an adult large. Well, I don't know why, but I've already started packaging them up. 
um, a little different as far as location we're going about two inches from the neck because this is for track and field and they have to put a bib like the, um, the paper with their number on it here so that's why we wanted the the logo design a little bit higher so we came up with the about two inches from the top from the collar here to the bottom to the top of the design right so like I was saying um, like I said for this one it's going to be for a track and field that's why we moved the design a little bit higher so they can put that paper bib around or underneath it underneath the design so they have their numbers and, and stuff like that so yep that's it for today guys uh, stay tuned tomorrow I'm going to announce the raffle giveaway so stay tuned for that and that's about it um, happy to be back and we're getting back into business again vacation is over and um, yeah let's get going all right guys that's it peace out